Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about how a Tennessee student has gained a lot of press because he has won the title of homecoming queen now on my channel we've talked about trans attraction we've talked about malik yoba we've talked about transgender woman and we've had a full-on discussion on the topic i feel like it is super dope for people to live in their truth and that is something that i highly advocate i feel like people should be who they are and be true and authentic to who they really are in their authentic self however comma However, comma, I feel like spaces for women should be designated for women. If you call yourself gender neutral, if you call yourself a transgender woman, if you call yourself something else, it is fine. I feel like there should be a category specifically for you. I don't think that transgender women should be competing against natural born women. I don't think that these spaces should be infiltrated and blurred. That's just me. I feel like we cannot gloss over the transition. We can't gloss over the biological makeup. I feel like spaces designated for natural born women should be for natural born women. And if we want to be inclusive, which I have no problem with. However, I feel like those should be separate categories. Now, let me show you this clip and then I'll be back to talk to you guys a little more. I always felt like I was a queen. I always felt like I am the, I am that, I am that business. I am that news. I am that, yes, I am, I'm me. Wearing a floor length gold sequin gown, 17 year old Brandon Allen accepted one of the most coveted titles in the social hierarchy of high school. Homecoming Queens. I truly believe that I'm a queen, so I wanted to wear a dress. A photo posted by the school on social media shows the shocked winner in his glittery gown. It quickly went viral, drawing thousands of shares and comments with both support and resistance. Responding to the criticism, the school's principal says she is exceedingly proud and that the school loves and supports everyone, regardless of who they are or what they believe. Some parents be asking their kids, like, oh, are you gay? Like, what are you, are you becoming a female? But, like, I know I wanted to do me. We're on a move, and, like, if you don't want to move with us, then you can stay behind. Brandon says he has been bullied for being gay, but he wants to inspire others to be confident in their own skin. Don't change yourself for nobody else but you. Don't try to hide yourself, all because some people might not accept you. Because trust and believe me, there are going to be people who don't accept you, and you got to be like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to do me. I'm going to be myself truly and unapologetically. The school superintendent told CBS News the district prohibits discrimination and that homecoming queen and king is a tradition based 100 percent on student votes. Brandon says he is honored to be a figure who people are standing up for and is thankful for the support. I feel like it's super dope that his classmates voted for him and wanted to include him and be inclusive. And I feel like, yeah, cool. Let's be inclusive. Let's, you know, not make people feel like they can't be who they are. However, comma, like I said, I feel like positions designated for natural born women should not be infiltrated. And that's just how I feel. It's no malice to anybody who is transgender. I just do not feel like we are exactly the same. I feel like we cannot gloss over the transition. And I feel like our biological makeup shows us and tells us who we actually are. And I feel like there should be separate categories and spaces for that. And we can be inclusive, but we should not take the positions of natural born women or have gay boys competing and taking spots that are designated for women. This is not even somebody who identifies as a transgender woman. This is somebody who says, you know, I feel like a queen, so I just wore a dress or whatever. But it's like, you know, it definitely takes more than that to be a woman. And, you know, at that point, I kind of feel like, uh, you know, that's cool. I don't want to discredit how you feel. I don't want to take away how you feel. However, we aren't the same and we should not have to share the same titles and take the same spaces. That's just me. Um, 
I don't mean to offend anybody in that. I know somebody will always be triggered by how I feel or what I say. And I mean it with the utmost respect because I do want to have a place to where we can respect one another. We can have respect for one another and we can be inclusive, but we can't take positions or we can't take, you know, what's meant for a woman and give it to a boy and what's meant for a boy and give it to. A, I, I, I feel like we have to assign the proper titles to the proper things and give people the proper you know awards or accolades like if you are a transgender woman let's say hey we're gonna trans we're gonna give this transgender woman this court appointed award for this homecoming court and you know i don't know that's just i'm probably rambling but i want to know what you guys think about this and i i truly do not mean no disrespect to anybody that's just how I feel I'm a natural born woman I don't feel like I'm the same as somebody that was born a male and transition that's not to discredit how they feel about who they are inside I just feel like there is a difference in our biological makeup and we can't gloss over that and we can't take the positions of natural born women and start handing them out you know all I, I just don't think that that's the route that we should go but I do feel like we should be inclusive However, I don't think that we should take what is for natural born women and give it up. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm sure this will piss somebody off. It is what it is. I don't mean no malice, but um, I want to know what you guys think down below. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, In order to be up to date on what I post and up to date on my latest tea, definitely hit that like button. But most importantly, you got to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Now, YouTube be playing games on the notifications and sometimes they don't be notifying my peeps. But hit the notification bell because more than likely you will be notified sometime or another and you'll be in on my world. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.